Today, we got the debut of Pro Play in NBA 2K24. We're going to look at that trailer. After that, we're going to break it down. And at the end of the video, I got more information from Mike Wang, gameplay director himself of NBA 2K24 and its new features. You're going to want to check this out from the beginning till the end. Without further ado, let's talk about it. YouTube, it's your boy Geddon, and I'm back with another NBA 2K video. If you like the video, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get it. After watching the trailer numerous times, I gotta say this trailer looks dope. I know 2K will deliver on deep gameplay. I never really had a problem with NBA 2K's quality, their gameplay mechanics, and overall fun factor. So in this clip right here with Kevin Durant, this is exactly what I was kind of hoping pro play would bring to the table. You have real authentic situational animations by both the offense and the defense, and the defense moving very very fluid like very fluid like i'm still wondering if this is just a video part of the trailer or is this all gameplay nonetheless it literally looks flawless a little bit of concern right here is because we just saw the defense move so smoothly and so fluid like here we have tyrese Halliburton do kind of like a sidestep three on the defender and the defender is kind of like hunchback and a little delayed it doesn't look as fluid as that first clip here here we are again with another clip that actually looks really promising. You see Jordan Poole do kind of like a runner side three on Draymond Green. See, this is another reason why a lot of people love NBA 2K. They just live, breathe, and die by the NBA because we all know what happened in that Warriors practice. If we're looking at the gameplay side of things, we see Draymond Green try to keep up with Poole and it looks all fluid. He's reaching out trying to defend, but Poole is just way too quick. Here we have Ante DeCoupo dunking all over Jimmy Butler. The physics, the animations, this new pro play animation technique, all of it looks Lawless. And Jimmy Butler gets his revenge on Holiday, another good defender. I had to talk about this Euro step by Tatum. This is again what pro play is bringing to the table. The Euro step or any other action, it would be really hard to get this dynamic of a lean. But with pro play, they could take right from real NBA action and create better action animations. They look way more realistic. And unfortunately, we have to talk about the worst part of this trailer. Right here where Przingis is trying to guard up or defend the rim against Spider Mitchell. And 2K does a lot of positive things, but one thing that they really don't do so good is try to hide some of the difficulty where Przingis should be able to extend his arm Arm all the way forward but Przingis literally has his arm bent so that the smaller Mitchell could shoot over him this element is shown in their trailer I really hope it wasn't this case but they're gonna take NBA pro play still edit those animations to give you bad animations while it helps out either the computer or the user but yeah this is a very bad look I really wish this was not part of the trailer I really wish it was not part of the game so that's all I saw in the trailer this this, again, overall, this trailer does look really good. I still have some questions for pro play. I really hope that those in between actions of the main actions of what happens on the court, I really hope they focused on those animations, those subtle movements so that the gameplay looks way more fluid, way more lifelike. But before you go, Mike Wang has some information on some new gameplay features, gameplay mechanics, and other changes that are coming to NBA 2K. Watch the videos. Let's comment about it. Let's talk about it. This your boy Geddon, and I'm out of here. Players who play on Hall of Fame or comp online games will be playing with greener miss shot timing for the ultimate challenge. But team control modes will see more forgiving shot timing so you won't have to memorize every single player's release to the exact frame to find success. The shot timing release time setting from NBA 2K23 has been converted to a new setting called shot timing visual cue. Now you can set your desired release point based on whatever animation cue works best for you. This makes it much easier to play with players and teams you're not as familiar with. Advanced layups like floaters, reverses, euros, hop steps, and scoops are much more effective this year. And I'd encourage everyone to try out layup timing. 
It's much more forgiving for high percentage layups and also gives you the ability to finish tough circus layups in traffic if you can master it. For dunkers in new gen, you can now force rim hangs from any two-hand dunk by simply keeping the sprint trigger held when the dunker grabs the rim. Down on the pro stick will give you flashy dunks, and up-down or down-up double throws will let you attempt contact dunks in traffic with the dunk meter. Meter dunks are green or miss on higher difficulty levels now, so you have to be precise to finish off the play. Bigs are gonna have a lot of fun dominating in the paint in NBA 2K24. You can now branch out of any offensive rebound to a putback attempt by simply pressing the shot button after the catch. Post fades and hop shots are also really effective shots for post players, and you can definitely feel the impact of strength and weight as bigger players easily dominate weaker ones on the glass. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. Defensive movement has improved on many fronts, with better responsiveness and less sliding. This helps defenders get where they need to be, and with the improved body-up system, ball handlers will have a tough time getting free against great defenders. The improved contact can also be felt in the paint. Big defensive anchors will have a much easier time putting a body on shooters at the rim and forcing tough shots. Directional steals are also back. You need to reach with the correct hand closest to the ball and avoid reaching across the body to maximize success and avoid foul calls. You can also use directional steals to play passing lanes by flicking the right stick in the correct direction to get your hand in the way and deflect the pass. And when it comes to contesting shots, it's important to be patient and wait for the correct time to jump. If you're behind the shooter, jumping too early, biting on fakes, or closing out late, you'll quickly find yourself racking up fouls and giving up and one opportunities. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2 Takeover returns to NBA 2K24, but with a different spin. Instead of assigning a takeover ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can choose between finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense rebounding, or physicals. If you delay your takeover and fill up double takeover, you can choose two different categories of ratings to boost, making you a true threat on both ends of the floor. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make it